everyone, it's Melissa with the M Word. If you're new here, I'm a homeschooling mom of three kiddos. I have a seven-year-old, she's almost eight. She'll be eight next week already. And a three-year-old and a one and a half-year-old. My husband has taken the kids, so everything should be quiet, except for my three-year-old son. He is hanging out in the corner. He decided he really wanted to stay with mom today. So he is over there. If you hear random noises like that one, that is my son. He is watching his tablet and just hanging out. He really wanted to stay home. So I didn't think that would be too much of a problem, but he is kind of noisy. So hopefully it'll be okay. I, if you were been around for a little while, you saw my unit study plans for this school year, which was our 2022, 2023 school year. And our plan for January was dinosaurs, which my daughter is ecstatic for. My son is super excited for, and I could not be happier that they are loving it. I cannot pronounce dinosaur names whatsoever, so Google has been having to help me with all of them. So I have pulled together all the things that we are using for our dinosaur unit study. We are, I'm letting the kids, so it's just a TV show on Netflix, it's nothing special. I don't, I haven't really watched it with them, so don't take my word that it's perfectly safe and all that thing, so watch it yourself. I just kind of, it's on in the background while I'm working when they watch it. Um, it's Rise of the Dinosaur, or Rise of the Dino Master, and so far they seem to really like it. It's basically just dinosaurs, and they like that. We also plan on watching, like, Walking with the Dinosaurs on Netflix and anything else that I happen to come across that they can watch while we go through. But the physical items that I have are the Osborne My First Encyclopedia. There is a Discovering Dinosaurs section in here. So basically the My First Encyclopedia, I found out, thankfully, I ordered this and the science one and then realized that every little one, like the Our World, Space, Science, My Body. So I have science in my body. These are individual books. They all have their own individual books. But if you get the My First Encyclopedia, all the books are inside here, which I got the My First Body one in one of our, or My Body in one of our um, Timber Doodle kits. So I already had that, but I had ordered the science one with this one without knowing that. And nobody bothered to ever tell me that. So, so you know, in case you're like me, but we plan on going through the dinosaur one. I just kind of read a page or two as the week goes on to the kids, letting them know about the dinosaurs and what they are. Like I said, my kids are almost eight, three and one and a half. So this kind of thing is right up their alley. They love it. We are doing second grade, preschool and taught school. I mean, it's a perfectly great little book to have. We also got Dinosaurs Shine a Light from Osborne and I just thought it was kind of cool. But it kind of has this like take a look and I don't think it'll show through. I don't think there's enough light in here. But what's on the back shows through with light. And the kids really enjoy that. We got the human body. Take a look too. And they, they just adore these books. We are secular homeschoolers. So understand that. But I am fairly relaxed when it comes to stuff that I like. So if, it like, if I like it and if it's in my homeschool, I use it. So I did purchase the newly released paleontology unit from The Good and the Beautiful. And so far... I have not found anything that doesn't align. So I put it, my this is one of the binders I happen to have. It's way too big, but it works. I've already prepped all the science wall words and I printed the student journal. And so far, all I've noticed, and when I was reading through it, they stated in the like parents area that it works for old age and new age believer or old earth and new earth believers so if you think earth is new or whether you think earth is old it works for both of those and i have not been all the way through it yet so don't take my word for it but so far from what i can tell they avoid any issue biblically or secular in nature or religious in nature in general by just voiding all dates there is no dates in this whatsoever and they stay very much on topic of paleontology it's very much you know these are the dinosaur bones that paleontologists have found it does not mention dates it mentions how long they are how much they weighed and how like what their bone structure is like and this here these are the student pages it talks about 
well-known paleontologist and it also circles through with archaeological stuff in general so like um egyptian archaeological it goes over stones plastics it kind of just kind of goes over all that so so far i have found nothing that doesn't align with what my children believe and what i believe i haven't found anything that is all too i haven't really i haven't seen anything in here religious in nature at all yet um that doesn't mean that they're not in there we're only a couple lessons in so i could be very wrong on that but so far i have not seen anything and in a quick flip through i didn't see anything either there it goes through what the student journal is which we just went through that i went through the science wall that's these cut out facts and science things here this is also recommended for eight, grades three through eight with extensions for seven and eighth seventh and eighth grade and it also has um content for younger children so three to six and then seven to eight for older children my daughter is only in second grade some of this goes over her head and i'm okay with that there's the lesson preparations activity guides and there's some watch online videos uh, so far the the few watch online videos we've watched are pretty dry um they are the good and the beautiful created videos they're their own actual videos they're not links to anything they're a little dry but they do have all the facts needed and my child does watch them while she is doing her other like drawing stuff so it goes through i'm pretty sure as she gets older though it'll be good some of that drier stuff is because it is for grades all the way from middle school or elementary school all the way through the end of middle school so there's a there's a fine line between being engaging enough for somebody small and being educational enough for somebody in middle school and it does a good job at doing that but just know that some of the videos are a little bit more dry because of that it also has lunch and extensions and the books we do not have the books from them i do not have the <coughs> bigger book from them i didn't do any of that i just have the pdf version of their units and i printed it because i plan on using it a few for all my kids for a few years there is the introduction to paleontology units. It is always, I mean, they do a very good job of making them literally beautiful. Like they say they are the good and the beautiful. So I do like that. I also like that I never have to, outside of what's in there religiously, I don't have to worry about the concepts they're teaching my children. I don't ever have to worry that it's going to be more than I want my kids to know yet at their age. So I do appreciate that. But I do have to kind of scan it for religious information to see what fits in our family and what doesn't. Like, it goes through a lot of fossils. Like I said, it's mostly paleontology. It is a paleontology unit. Um, there is an introduction to dinosaurs section. There's land of the giant. It carnivores and herbivores. Earth, sky, and sea. I mean, I think it's gorgeous how they have this set up. So we'll be finishing up this unit. But here in the back is where it kind of, it doesn't stay dates, but where it kind of adds in like those that believe in new earth versus old earth. It doesn't say dates, so it works really well for both, but it has excavation stuff and it talks about artifacts, some stuff that happened more recently versus back when dinosaurs, in my opinion, back when dinosaurs roamed the earth in that sense that we believe the earth is old. Um, and not new but that is our belief our our version of i don't know that's just what we believe it's not really i don't know it's what science has told me to be true so that is what i believe in but i don't i mean I, if other people believe other things that's up to them so either way it does have other things but it doesn't talk about it as in this happened while the dinosaurs are here it talks about it as um these are all types of excavation. So excavation of dinosaur bones or excavation of um, artifacts from ancient civilizations. Like they don't add dates or times or a timeline or anything like that to make it where it would be confusing for your child, which I do appreciate. I appreciate that they were very careful in the way they did it because it made it so I can use it. We also have the long ago, Animals of Long Ago from Heron Books. That is this book here. It has eight chapters in it, so we don't plan on doing it right away. Where it's about two, we start this um, the 16th of January that week. So our Changing Earth is chapter one. And every 
every book I've gotten from Heron Books so far has been just gorgeous. So like this is the page, the very first page. It's, it's beautiful. And if you've been around for a while, you know how obsessed I am with beautiful artwork and beautiful illustrations. So there is from the beginning of the earth is changing. We think that the first couple of billion years, nothing lived on earth. So this book definitely goes off of an old earth viewpoint. Then it mentions that earth was covered in ice and this went on for ages. And I love how here in books, it, it's an easy read. So technically your child could read it themselves if they can read proficiently at this point. And then it talks about how um, animals started to become on earth. Gradually the earth became home to many animals and some of these are no longer here. And then it explains that they're no longer here because of the changing earth becoming hot, too hot, too wet, too cold, too dry, etc. for each of the animals were there. And that we say that those kind of animals are extinct. So, and it does evolution, 100% they cover evolution. So know that the paleontology unit does not mention anything about evolution. So there's that too, but our family, our homeschool, we do believe in evolution. So this is okay with me. They have tons of different animals how animals looked millions of years ago versus how they look today. And then they go into chapter two, starts the dinosaurs. So know that off the bat, this is definitely secular and talks about old earth, it talks about evolution. It talks about the earth being millions of years old, billions of years old. So that is something that if it goes against what you believe, make sure you know, understand that in this book, but we love this. I love how pretty it is. I love how easy it is. Each chapter is. It's not over my kid's head. The Heron Books website says that this is for ages 8 to 10. So this is right up my kid's alley. It's the perfect age, second, third, fourth grade area, kindergarten, you know, that kind of thing. So first, second, third, fourth grade, I would say elementary school in general. So my daughter is in second grade and we are using this. Then the last thing you guys have already seen, this is from Timberdoodle. They did send this to me for my honest review. There is a review up on this already. I did save our dinosaur activity box for our dinosaur unit. So we'll be using this too. And I will link everything below. I think I still have a code for Heron Books that's active for 30% off. I will leave that below. So if you have any questions or suggestions or comments or anything like that, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I appreciate your guys' feedback and input and I love talking to you guys. And of course, if you like this, please go ahead and subscribe and like and I, it really helps me out and I really, really appreciate it. And I will be sure to do a follow-up video saying how like a day in the life of our unit study and how it's going. So. I will talk to you guys later.